All right, let me, uh, let me show you a quick way to find the vertex. If you don't like completing the square, one way we would do it is to find, use completing the square to put it in standard form, and then we could easily find the vertex. But let's say you just want to find an easy way to kind of determine where the vertex is. So what we can do is we can use the formula for vertex. The formula for vertex is opposite of b divided by 2a comma f of opposite of b divided by 2a. Remember, if I said like, uh, remember when we do function values, if we did like f of x equals 3x minus 1, and then I say what's f of 2? Remember, what you do is you take whatever 2 is and you plug it in for x, right? Right? Hopefully we're on the same page. All right. So we got that going for us. So the first thing we need to do is find opposite of b divided by 2a. Remember, the definition of a quadratic right, is ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this problem, my b is 8. So I'm going to take opposite of 8, positive 8, divided by 2a, which is, in this case, 1. So opposite of b divided by 2a, negative 8 divided by 2 is a negative 4. Then I take my function of what my opposite of b of, over 2a is and do f of negative 4, which is negative 4 squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 11. So negative 4 squared is 16. 8 times negative 4 is negative 32 plus 11. 16 minus 32 is a negative 16. It's a negative 16 uh, plus 11 is going to be a negative 5. Therefore. My vertex equals negative 4 comma negative 5. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a quick, easy, simple way to find the vertex. Thanks.